Hello, my dear students. First of all, before explaining a question taken from a gate, this was the question taken from gate 2021 asked from Power Electronics. I will explain the solution for this question. Meanwhile, just go through the question that is shown here. And uh, first of all, to prepare Power Electronics, what are the references we take? Just go through my notes classroom notes is very important and apart from the classroom notes you solve pyqs for the last 15 years minimum last year the latest years is very important so solve all the pyqs of at least minimum 15 years okay and first notes then solve all the P pyqs and here I have picked up one gate question which was asked in the year 2021. Let me read out this question my dear students. In the circuit shown, the input voltage is sinusoidal AC voltage having an RMS voltage of 230 volts. So here input voltage is sinusoidal, its RMS voltage is 230 volts plus or minus 20 percent. That means here. AC voltage is fluctuating with plus or minus 20 percent. For the worst case, we have to find out the PIV across any diode. So, we have to find out the peak inverse voltage rating across any diode. For example, you take positive cycle. In the positive cycle, you know these two diodes are forward biased. Let us suppose these two diodes are conducting in the positive cycle. When these two diodes are conducting in the positive cycle, this diode is in the off state. This diode is in the off state. So, this plus will appear here, okay? And this minus will appear here. That means the entire supply voltage appears across this diode. So, we have to find out the maximum negative voltage that appears across the diode is. So, therefore, PAV of diode is equal to, it is the peak voltage of power supply that appears across the diode. What is the peak voltage of power supply for worst case? Peak voltage for worst case, for worst case. So, it is the RMS voltage is 230, for worst case 20 percent, we have to add 20 percent of 230, 20 percent of 230, this is RMS value, I want peak value. So, let us multiply by square root of 2. So, 230 plus 20 by 100 into 230. Okay. So, multiply with square root of 2 because I want PIV for the worst case. So, just simplify this one. You will be getting 390.3 volts. 390.3 volts. So, that is the PIV for this diode. Dear students, this was the question asked in the gate 2021. See, if you go through the previous paper, in the next coming years, they may not ask the same question, but there may be small modifications according to the previous questions. What type of modifications they can be done related to this type of questions? For example, I will just modify this question which was asked in the previous year. Just go through this one. This is the diodes. It is a single phase fully controlled bridge rectifier, right? Single phase fully controlled bridge rectifier. Now, if you see here, I am connecting two capacitors here, two capacitors here, and then I am connecting resistive load here, right? resistive load and power supply is given here, power supply is given here, AC power supply, so which is sinusoidal, okay, which is sinusoidal. Suppose, see, both the circuits are same, okay, both the circuits are same. Let this diode be D1 and D2 and D3 and D4. Both the circuits are one and the same. 
So under such condition, PIV of the diode is the peak voltage of AC supply. That is what we have discussed in the previous case. Suppose examiner in the next year, he want to do small modifications. What kind of modifications he can do? Suppose these two terminals are shorted. These two terminals are shorted. That is what I said. When you observe the previous year questions, in the future, in future, they may ask some other questions related with the same question just by modifying that. Okay. Now see, if you just short circuit these two terminals, this circuit is a voltage doubler circuit. It is actually voltage doubler circuit. Just go through the voltage doubler circuit, my dear students. In the case of a voltage doubler circuit, assuming that this capacitance is very large, this capacitance is very large, the output voltage is approximately equal to 2 Vm volts. You take, let us take in a voltage doubler circuit, let us assume that Output voltage is double the peak voltage of AC supply. Vm power supply is Vm sin omega t here. Okay. This is Vm sin omega t. So let us assume that neglecting the ripple in the output, let output voltage is almost constant at 2 Vm because it is a voltage doubler circuit. Right. Now find out the PAV across each diode, my dear students. Uh, as of now, this question was not asked in the previous papers. Okay, let us do this question now. Find out the PIV across each diode. You know, load voltage is 2 Vm means this voltage is Vm and this voltage is Vm, right. So, when these two are shorted, the voltage across D3 is Vm, the voltage across D3 is Vm, the voltage across D2 is also Vm, right. So, PIV of D3 and D2 is Vm volts. But what is the PAV of D1 and D4? Here, D1 and D4, they are complementary, right? Suppose in the positive cycle, if you see, if you see the positive half cycle, if you see the positive half cycle, let D1 is in the on state, right? D1 is in the on state. When D1 is on, current passes through D1, D1 is charging the upper capacitance like this. D1 is charging the upper capacitance. When D1 is in the on state, these two terminals are shorted, right? When these two terminals are shorted, D4 remains in the blocking state in the positive cycle. When D4 remains in the blocking state, see, voltage across the DC terminals is 2 Vm volts. So, voltage across D4 is 2 Vm volts, right? So, if, similarly, PAV of D1 is also 2 Vm. So, if you observe here, PAV of the diode D1 and D4 is 2 Vm volts in the case of a voltage doubler circuit, whereas PAV of diodes D2 and D3 it is Vm volts. If examiner specifies PAV individually, we have to answer like this. Suppose in this question, examiner did not ask individually, he generalized. For the worst case, design the PAV rating of a diode, then we have to consider 2 Vm volts. So, my dear students, you have, you, when you just go through the previous year questions, you will get some idea and from that idea, we can upgrade for future questions, what type of questions they may ask in the next coming years, right? I hope you enjoyed this question. Thank you very much, students.